doing your bit for the environment, are you, Claudia? What? Oh. Oh. oh, oh, that is funny. Do I look like the kind of girl who would use a tram? No. No, I just popped into the kiosk for some Skittles. Time for naughty? Oh, no, sorry. I'm really so busy this morning. Anyway, um, I'll see you later at the awards. Can't wait, sweetheart. It'll be good to have a social together. Put any unpleasantnesses behind us. Mm -hmm. I will be coming a bit more pandied, though, uh, Rita and Maria. I hope that won't be too awkward no, for Of course you. not. I mean, I will have uh, David and Emma with me, so okay. I'll be more than a little mob handy myself. Anyway, look, I've got a dash. Uh, I'm not a lady of leisure, like some. Oh, if only. You know, sometimes I think a woman's work is never delicate. Yeah. See you later, alligator. Huh? Oh, Claudia, what yeah. a day. <laughs> now. I know you are not in the business, as it were, but might you be free this afternoon? Oh, hey, Graham. Uh, why the face? Oh, Claudia, do you know, I honestly think the only pleasure she has in life is winding me up. What's she doing now? Oh, apart from seducing Maria away, palling up with Rita. I mean, all I've got to do now is find a rifling through my knicker drawer. It'll be a single white female. So you're getting some big hairdressing awards together. I am. Oh, not with her, though. Though she'll be there, of course, rubbing my face in Maria every chance she gets. Oh, no, anyway, never mind my woes. How about you and Leanne? I mean, are you back together or what? We're just having lunch together, OK? I didn't realise she was such a big fan of Leanne. Listen, I'm a fan of anybody that keeps you here. Morning, Audrey. Oh, oh sorry, Nick. Ah, oh, Nick, you're not going to be late for work, are you? Remember, we need that little chat. Oh. What was all that about? Uh, nothing, nothing. We're just working on some uh, new lines together. Oh, right. I'm so glad things are working out for you, my darling. I really am. <laughs> it's lovely to have you home. Yeah. Uh, see you later, Carl. All right, sweetheart. Okay. Yeah. What oh, you like croissants? Uh, I think they're all right. It's an almond one. Steve, will you stop banging on about croissants? Amy is putting the finishing touches to this contract of hers. <sighs> Hey, darling. Hey, your dad brought some croissants. Croissants. Butter and sugar. Possibly the unhealthiest thing you could ever eat in the morning. Yeah. I want these red and signed by the time I come home for me dinner. Have a nice day. Yeah, bye, darling. Love you. Well, I'm having a croissant. Uh, no, you're not, because I have got a much healthier breakfast option for you. Oh. No, tis. Tease it, tease oh, it, Randy. You don't want it too boofy. Yes, I do, I do. I want it boofy, boofy. As boofy as possible. I'm not having Claudia outdo me, thank you. She's going to walk into the room with hair like someone out the Lion King. Uh, are you ready, David? Oh, I say, don't you look smart? I look like I'm going to a funeral of somebody that I didn't like. So, do you reckon you're in with a chance for one of these awards, then? I mean, the organisers seem dead keen to get you there. Silla. Who's going to give me an award? <laughs> anyway, come on, chop, chop. Uh, David, mm -hmm. could you book a taxi, please, um, on um, on that app of yours? Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. I saw this cocktail hour. Uh, we're going to an awards do. Mm -hmm. The Northwest Regional Stylist Awards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, I remember now Nick mentioned it, but I just assumed it was an evening thing. I was just after a trim. Oh, sweetheart, I'm sorry. But we're closed now for the rest of the day. You wanted to look nice for Nick, didn't you? Because he did mention you were going to meet for a drink later. Yeah. Anyway, it's not a problem. So, good luck with the awards thing. Uh, Leanne, my love, I just want to say, you know, when it comes to you and Nick, I am definitely in your corner. Oh, thanks, Audrey. Right, good luck today. Oh, yes. Good luck. Good luck. Everybody's saying good luck. Why do they think I'm in with a chance? Right, cab's booked. It's two minutes away. Oh, David, now, you did book a town car, didn't you? Because I certainly don't want Claudia seeing me emerging from a tatty old Volvo. We oh. brought these for the journey. Oh. They were a present. You from the borrowers? Uh, my mum brought them back from holiday. From a little fridge in a room. Can you believe that? Well, having stayed in a hotel before, yes. Oh, well, I was saving them for a special occasion. Oh, well, that is so sweet of you, Emma. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, dear. Now, come on. Now, J David, come on. Come on. Oh, <sighs> Listen. Now, 
Whether we win anything today or not, I want us to remember we are the best team in Weatherfield. <laughs> what do you say, gang? <laughs> Come on, Trees. <laughs> if you two are going to be like this, I'm sitting with the driver, all right? Come on. Okay. 15 minutes I was waiting outside, and I lost my last fare. It's an easy mistake to make. Oh, yeah, because Cardigan Close and Balaclava Terrace sound identical, don't they? Both items are clothing. All right, losers. How's it going? I'm just getting a rollicking off this misery guts. One tiny mistake. One tiny mistake for you, one massive inconvenience for me. Anyway, how come you're in such a good mood? Who died? Well, let's just say I've had a rather nice start to the day. And nobody or nothing is going to bring me down. Anyway, I thought you'd be all excited. You got the twins' visit later. I've still got to deal with this numpty, though, Anna. He might be a numpty, but he was good enough to give you a job. Only because you nagged him into it. She's rude to the customers. She's rude to me. Stop whining, you big girl. Hello, streetcars, the home of friendly transport. How may I be of service? Well, uh, stop giving her a hard time, yes. Steve. Why oh, couldn't yeah. she come and work for you? She's yeah, your mate. Oh, you're joking, aren't you? She drives me mad. Anyway, listen, I want you to be at my dad's bang on 12 because we have to pretend that we're taking this whole contract thing of Amy seriously. Yeah, OK, Sonny, I'll get the paperwork over to you this afternoon. Yeah, great. Thanks. So, order for 1,000 units for Dunstan's right there. Last quarter, it was 2,000 units. Well done for just halving the order. What are you even doing here, anyway? I own half the place in case you forgot. Oh, yes, Nick, nice tactics, dining it out. I've forgotten what I said to you yesterday. <laughs> you can't blackmail me. Blackmail? Let me see. Unless you sell me your shares, I tell the animal. Yes, you're right, it is blackmail. Hi, Sonny, it's Carla. Oh, where is it? Dad must have had a tidy up. She's here. Hi, babe. Have you signed them? Wow, you're all business, aren't you? Here they are. We left them in the envelope because we didn't want them to get all mucky, did we? I repeat. Have you signed them? Uh, not yet, because we thought we'd have to sign them together with, with you there. Mm. Um, here you go. Huh? Anything to make my little princess happy. I'm surprised you're taking it so well. Anything for you, Angel. Right, I've got to go to work. I've got to sack Abby. No. No, you can't do that, Steve, because you promised me you'd give her a job. You can't sack her. She's going to flip him ruin us. Uh, actually, you can't. This is grown-up chat, baby. Sorry. But... Not anymore, it isn't. Point 9B. Both parties will adhere to promises made to each other and to the daughter. You promised, so Abby stays. <laughs> she got you there, you big div. Point 11D. There will be no name-calling or insults between the parties at any time. You can't call him div. Says here this finds. Amy, what? I can call him what I like. He's my husband. Not anymore, you can't. Break the contract regularly, and I go ahead with emancipation. Um, emancipation? What? What? This can't be legal, can it? Follow terms of the contract, or a divorce you. Both of you. What have we done, Steve? You. <laughs> David, uh, could you look after my coat ticket, please? I hate little bits of paper in the bottom of my bag. Yeah. I can't do with those posts, you know, Dad. Whenever a little girl eats a dream of coming from where oh. like this. What, the three-star hotel near remote work? Dreams really can come true, can't Audrey! Oh, yeah. OK. What an earth it... You're not one of the churches, are you? Well, if he is, you're a shoe in Grant. No, 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 not at all. You know that Stephen Tracy got married here? Right. Mm -hmm. On a budget, wasn't it? Oh! Naughty, naughty. Stealing my date. Date? Yeah, Claudia very kindly asked me this morning. Hello, David. Kenneth. Sorry, I've uh, forgotten your name. Uh, Emma. Oh, from the novel? The Spice Girl. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Oh, hey. Well, isn't this nice? We're all on the same table. Oh, delightful. Maybe me and you could sit together, eh? Have a little catch-up. Oh, I'm not sure that's a very good idea, as you know. I think I'd best stay with my team here. My lovely, loyal team. Oh, come on, Audrey. Stop being so daft. Friends here. Of course we are. And where would the world of hairdressing be without a little bit of healthy, competitive spirit? Eh? Come along, Maria. Do you know I was swinging for that woman? Honestly, I really could swing for her. 
Don't be winding Audrey up. She's done nothing to deserve it. Oh, don't be silly, darling. It's just a bit of friendly teasing. Besides which, a little birdie told me that Audrey's going to be receiving a very special award later. Oh, wow, that's brilliant. Yes. <laughs> I just hope Audrey thinks so, too. Ready for the twins? Yeah. Um, I was thinking maybe we should call Claire about that visit over Christmas. Well, no point. She texted me the foster carers want to take them to Lapland, needed my permission. And what did you say? Well, I'm hardly going to say no, am I? Can you imagine their little faces? But it's not going to be over actual Christmas, though, is it? But how do I compete with that? A few poxy presents underneath a spendly Christmas tree. It's hardly going to rock the world after meeting Father Christmas. Wrong flipping address again. 95 Tile Street. Is that the blind lady, Mrs. Skeffington? It's all right, I've got her. I saw a dog in the rearview mirror when I was turning around. You can't keep messing up like this. Well, I can't seem to help myself. Knock, knock. Oh, who's there? I wasn't actually doing the routine. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. All right, Leon. All right. Come see the boy wonder, I take it. Yeah. Uh, I, do you know what? I think we're gonna we're gonna go out for lunch. There's nothing urgent, is there? You don't need to ask my permission. You're merely my business partner. Look, if I've come at a bad time, bad time. And oh, why would you say that? Well, you're acting all cheery and weird. Oh, I'm a woman of many moves, aren't I? Oh, actually, can I just use your bag? What be you take? Knock yourself out. Well, wait, you know. Oh, Nick, look, I know you. Okay, you're a coward, especially where women are concerned. So why don't I call my solicitor and ask him to get the ball rolling? I'm offering you a fair price. I'm telling the end the truth and keeping my half of the business. Sorry to disappoint you. Charlie? Where are they? They're not here. I cancelled the visit. You cancelled? Why? Why? The people they're living with have got big house, garden, money. They're meeting Father Flaming Christmas. What do they need me for? You're the mum. Yeah, and oh, what a mess I've made of that. Confusing them. Neglect, you know. You can't do this. Why? Isn't this what a mother should do? Put her kids before herself, think about their happiness before my own. I know you've had a hard couple of weeks. It's, it's been part... hard since I had them. Hard for them. <laughs> these people, these strangers are taking in Charlie and Lexi and they're giving them everything I can. <laughs> Security, love, kindness. What kind of mother would I be to deny them that? Mmm. I do love a melon ball. Oh, so do I. But, you know, most modern restaurants now, they cut them in slices, don't they? I much prefer the old-fashioned way, you know, the You know, I think I've still got a, a, a melon ball lurking in the back of one of my kitchen drawers. No. <laughs> yeah. Where do you stand on balls, Maria? I had the soup. Hey, Audrey. Claude, you're here telling me you might be up for a lifetime achievement award. What? No, no. <laughs> they only give them to people who have retired or are past it. <laughs> so you could be in with a shot. It was I who nominated you. You? Yes. A chairman of the panel is an old golfing pal. Easily persuaded, heavy drinker. Why did you do that, Claude? Because you deserve it, darling. And we're all behind you, aren't we, gang? Yeah, yeah, we're all behind yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, 100%. You all right? Sorry. <laughs> I can't take my eyes off your hair. It's breathtaking. Oh, well, yeah, I've been very lucky. <laughs> Follicle-wise. Mm. My fantasy client has always been Noel Edmonds. Can't be easy keeping that gloss under the studio lights. 
Oh, it looks so soft. Do you mind if I feel it? Yeah. Oh, Emma, will you stop playing with Gan's hair at the dinner table? It's so unhygienic. Come on. Yeah. Oh, oh. Well, I haven't finished and started yet. I mean, it's just... They've moved the awards to mid-meal. Last year, everybody got so pie-eyed, the winner of the best curly perm fell off the podium and broke his collarbone. Oh. Oh. Good luck, old chum. Bram, I mean, it sounds like she's trying to punch things up. Don't let her fool you, David. If she has put me up for this award, it's just to humiliate me. I mean, lifetime award, come on. She knows as well as I do that in this business, it means you're ready for the knack of shot. Aren't you? So, are you regretting it, then? The bag train? No, it feels good to be back there. You're right, you two. You checking up on him? No, no need. Oh, yeah. Hey, did you get my text about a voucher for Sinead? Yeah, it was that kind of you, thank Oh, no, it's just a massage. It's just the client gave it to me and I really haven't got time, so I thought Sinead could have it instead. But the thing is, you can't get a massage off just anybody, apparently, when you've got cancer. I love it. We don't want to go to waste here. There are specialist people that you can go to. I'll have a look. Thanks. Steve, you see my mum? Yes, unfortunately, for most of the morning. Well, she's disappeared. Hello. She left the office unlocked. We could have been robbed. You don't understand. The visit with the twins, she's cancelled it. I don't think there was a visit. I think she wanted the afternoon off. She played me like a fiddle. No, she's in a bad way, you're right. I recognise the signs. She could be off on a bender. Well, I didn't think she'd skived off to do the flipping ironing. Of course she's on a bender. I wish I had time to go on a bender. I'll put a call out. Yeah. Thank you. You're supposed to be resting. Uh, well, I was just looking for a tin of soup. And then I saw a smear of marmite. So by the time I cleaned that, I saw something gelled egg. So I thought, you know what? I might as well just do the lot. Listen, do you want me to look for a specialist, monsieur? Um, let me think about it. Oh, thing you did. Uh, yes, of course <coughs> Hello. Oh, hi. Uh, no, I'm her husband. Yes, it's in the calendar. It's Friday, isn't it? Yes, she'll be there. It's the hospital ringing about your next chemo point. Hi. Yeah. OK, yep, yeah, I'll see you then. Bye. Right, I'm going to take Friday off with you. What? Daniel, you... You don't need to come with me, you know, honestly, it's fine. Of course I do. <sighs> mm -hmm. Oh, listen, before you say anything, I'm sacking Abby. Right now, I've got other things to worry about. Look at the address at the bottom of that. It's our Adam that's put Amy up to this. Bet he's given her a discount because she's family. Yeah, well, family or not, he's not getting away with it. Come on. Mm. So, um. I'll see you back at work then, yeah? Why is she acting so weird? Uh, when isn't she? Is there something you need to tell me? Oh, I'm sure there's uh, lots of things we haven't told each other. Been a long time, Lee. Yeah, not that long that I can't tell when there's something bugging you. Listen, if we're gonna make a go with this, no more secrets, no more surprises, yeah? I'm thinking dramatic layering. 
Will you leave the poor man alone? Oh, now, where's Claudia? She's missing all this. I mean, how long can one woman spend in a lab with a Oh, is she? And now we come to our most important award of the evening, the Lifetime Achievement Award. I'm sorry, I'm just a one foot in the grave, oh, Shut up, David. And to present this prestigious award, please welcome the Northwest answer to Barbara Stanwyck. It's Claudia Colby. My darlings, you know, people often ask me why I call everybody that. Well, I have to admit, it's easier than remembering people's names. <laughs> but of course, tonight isn't about me. Ooh, that makes change. <laughs> tonight, we are here to recognize a truly legendary figure of Northwest hairstyling. For those of you with a long enough memory, the first stylist in Weatherfield to offer the Farrah Fawcett. And, of course, not forgetting her ageless princess die, which to the untrained eye might have looked like a purdy, but was so much more. What is she on about? Oh, a blast from the past. I mean, she's just toying with me, David. Ladies and gentlemen, this year's Lifetime Achievement Award goes to the one and only Audrey Roberts. Yeah, come on, Roger, you deserve it. You're going to I intend to. And we're back to Coronation Street in half an hour.